Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Konica C35 EF3. It was introduced in 1981. It's auto exposure, zone focusing. It's got the usual set of icons with a person and shoulders and then a group and mountains. It's got it marked in feet, three feet, five feet, 10 feet and infinity and also in meters, one, one and a half, three, and infinity. Has a really nice 35 millimeter hexanon lens. It's five elements in four groups. It goes from F8 to F16. The shutter, you don't get any control. It's programmed automatic. It's a leaf shutter. It goes from 1 60th to 1 500th of a second. So no long exposures with this guy. I've read that it's a copal shutter, but I don't know that for sure. Like a lot of these, you set your film speed on the front. Goes from ISO 25 to ISO 400. Pretty common for cameras at the time. Faster films were pro items. Has a pop-up flash. Guide number 14 meters at ISO 100. Sadly, this one is not working. I'll revisit that in a minute. The meter is right here inside the filter threads. That's always nice. You don't have to compensate for a filter. Uh, it takes 43 millimeter uh, threaded filters. Has an electronic self timer. It's this little lever on top. It looks like your usual clockwork, but it really is electronic. On the back, you get your flash charged light, and then you have a red LED when it's warning you to use the flash or to use a tripod. The rewind is on the bottom. It's really pretty uh, slick. And when you open the back, it pops that down so that it's letting you load the film in there. That's a really nice feature. Also on the bottom, you get a standard tripod socket, your rewind release, and the chamber for two AA batteries. And about the batteries, this one is this beautiful cosmetic condition, original lens cap, this nice matching red suede case, but the battery compartment was a complete train wreck. I had to dig them out with a screwdriver that's probably why the flash doesn't work because that corrosion will travel up the wires. So I'm gonna have to tear this guy down to see if I can get the flash working. So I know I've said this before, but please, if you're gonna put away or give away a camera, take the batteries out. That cameras that just were flat out not in shootable condition that I've gotten, that's the number one problem. So Back to something a little more cheerful. This came in some really cool colors. Uh, it was sort of that happy mod uh, era of camera design. It came in silver, this fire engine red, white, yellow, blue, and a blue metallic. So it's a really beautiful camera. And if I can get this guy going, I'll shoot with it again. So I'll see you then.